I'm glad I came here because there's just so many opportunities here that other students aren't exposed to. Business before, right? So let's say that I have. I've opened a business before. Would that be considered a strength? Linked learning is really exactly what it says. So it's linking learning to the real world, it's linking learning to college, it's linking learning to a world far beyond just a traditional high school setting. The point is that students leave both college and career ready. Should they choose to go to college, they're prepared. Should they choose to pursue a career, they're prepared. You're going to prescribe a type of treatment. You're going to have to be an expert on all four mental health disorders. So an extra challenge for you today. What Link Learning does that's dramatically different is it says, hey, where are the jobs going to be for kids down the road? And what is the type of school experience that those students are going to need in order to be prepared for those jobs? One of the parts of being bipolar is to say, yeah, maybe it does fit. With the other disorders are to talk about flashbacks and the symptoms of oh, yeah. <laughs> The way the high school is set up, they don't like baby you anymore. This is like the real deal. This is how it really is. It's like a preview of how life is. Bueno, ella está muy contenta en la escuela John Muir uh, porque le ha abierto muchas puertas, como académicamente, como para expresarse, para todo. This program is designed to capture all students. So you have students of, of varied abilities. When I first started going to my last high school, it didn't go so well. I had like a bunch of friends. I had like a little crew, like your friends that you hang out at lunch, and then they all dropped out. It was five of us. And out of those five of us, like I'm the only one that made it until senior year. As soon as I, I came to Life Academy, like there was just a big change. If you compare my transcript from my last school, it's all Fs. If you compare it to Life Academy's transcript, like you see like A's, B's, but it's just a, like a huge change. Life Academy is a small school with a focus on health and medicine. Many of our students are socioeconomically disadvantaged and we're trying to give them an opportunity that gets them into college and careers in health and medicine. We're just reviewing right now, real quick. There are four elements to link learning one is rigorous academics. The second is technical knowledge and skills. The third is the work-based experience, which includes internships. And the fourth is support services for students. Every student is known, it's very personalized. Teachers work together to discuss student work, to discuss behavior. Hay una maestra que siempre ella hasta me ha mandado notas y me ha dicho, hey, Crisia está, porque siempre estoy yo tras de ella. Y ella me ha dicho, llámame, ella está conmigo y me ha dado su número de teléfono para yo saber que ella está ahí haciendo tarea. What would happen if you actually were in the world of business and maybe that's going to make you learn this stuff a little bit better? Well, I'm in the Business and Entrepreneurship Academy, so I have to take the core classes like English, math, science, and then I also have to take marketing occupations, business management, finance. The academy has exceeded my expectations and the fact that uh, it has my daughter focused on things that I, ne I actually never thought she would be focused on. Four years of school has done a lot for her. So do you want to be the organization that gets these people together, or do you want to be the person that's like, okay, this is what we do at this particular facility? Okay, it's doable. Students have to design their own business that they have to figure out what kind of ownership do they want, what kind of prices will they set, what kind of marketing will they do. So by the end of my senior year, I'm going to know how to run my own business. I'm, I know, I'm doing a business plan as we speak. We are preparing our kids in the 9th and 10th grade to get ready for the world of work. And then in the 11th and 12th grade, we're sending our kids out into internships in all the major hospitals and clinics around the area. First, you get a mask here. A script at the mask. Okay. And what you do is I like learning. I mean, I can't help it. I, and I especially like biology so that so and medicine, you know. Here? Really, at first, I didn't really think about going to college. But now I'm really thinking about going to college. 
And me, I'm living on welfare, so it's just, when I get older, I don't want to live on welfare. I don't want to depend on the government. Education, I mean, that's the biggest thing that I can do right now. That's the best thing I can do right now for myself is get my education. So that is a tonsil. So that that's is his left tonsil. I have complete confidence that what I want to be in life will come to be, will come to pass. I'm a first year here at UC Berkeley, and I went to John Muir High School. With the Business Academy, they actually teach you tools that you can use to be a professional, not only necessarily in the business field, because now I'm not, only, I'm not a business major, I'm a legal studies major, but I'm still using the skills that I've learned from the Business Academy, such as typing, making PowerPoint presentations, and just being a professional in general. Our teachers say, you know, my class of the year that I'm going to graduate is 2014, but they actually say that we're class of 2018 because that's the year we graduate from college. So the result of it is that students, number one, they want to come to school. Uh, number two, they stay in school. Last year we were the third highest graduation rate in the district. If I wouldn't have come to Life Academy, I don't think I would have been here right now. Like, I would have dropped out. I don't think I would have made it this far. So far I applied to 16 colleges. UCLA is my dream school. I just recently submitted all my UCs and my Cal States. So now it's just time to wait for acceptance letters or, you know, God forbid, rejections. <laughs> I, want to, I don't want, just want to go to college for like a bachelor's degree. Like I want to accomplish more. Like I want to show everyone that I could do it because there was a lot of people that never thought I would make it. Like even family members. I always see that they leave and their heads are higher, their backs are straighter, and they have this presence that, like you didn't walk in the door with that but I love to see that you're leaving with it.